Both presidential candidates are trying to win over key voters in this final stretch of the campaign. The president was in Pennsylvania and Joe Biden was in Florida. Yesterday, both working to appeal to older Americans and to other voters, too. Ben Tracy is following the race for us. At a rally in Johnstown, Pennsylvania last night, President Trump tried to make up lost ground with suburban voters. Suburban women, will you please like me? Remember? Please. Please. I saved your damn neighborhood, okay? And seniors, who recent polls show back former Vice President Joe Biden by a wide margin. Biden's agenda would be a catastrophe for seniors. Biden cares more about illegal aliens than he cares about your senior citizens, and it's true. The demographic was crucial to President Trump's win in 2016. Who's better for seniors? And while the Trump campaign is scrambling, launching a multi-million dollar ad blitz to try to win them back, the president tweeted this doctored image of Biden at a senior living residence with the words, Biden for resident. The only senior that Donald Trump cares about, the only senior is senior Donald Trump. In Florida Tuesday, Biden laid out his vision for America's seniors and called President Trump's plan to use Medicare dollars to send out prescription drug cash cards an election year gimmick. He thinks that he can take the money out of your pocket with one hand and put it back with his name stamped on it on the other hand and call it a gift. It's dishonest. It's reckless. Biden's campaign is relentlessly attacking the president's response to the virus. He was warned, but ignored the evidence, holding rallies indoors. Biden said by downplaying it, the president has shown he doesn't care about the sacrifices vulnerable seniors have had to make. Well, he throws super spreader parties at the White House where Republicans hug each other without concern of the consequences. How many of you have been unable to hug your grandkids in the last seven months? Now, Biden is about to get some high-profile help from his old boss, former President Barack Obama. Aides close to Mr. Obama tell CBS News he plans to hit the campaign trail in the coming days to stump for Biden. Anthony. Ben, thank you.